Did you know that zombie bees are real? Okay, maybe not in the way that we portray in the movie zombies, but zombies, they're real. A parasitic fly called the Apocephalus borealis, um, also known as the forehead fly, also known as the zombie fly, lays its eggs in the abdomen of a wasp or a bee. Once the eggs have hatched inside of the host, pretty much the whole entire larval stage happens inside of the bee. Now, the brain of the bee is actually controlled by the larva of the zombie fly. Now, honeybees only fly during the day, but once that larva gets a hold of that It starts to fly at night in what's called the flight of the living dead. Is that already a movie? Also, it causes the honeybee to be attracted to light. So if you happen to see a honeybee at night buzzing around the light, you know that bee be a zombie. Now, if it wasn't bad enough that they hijacked this bee's brain, they eat it from the inside out. Poor bee. It's just minding his own business. Collect the little pollen for the hive. And then once the bee dies, seven days later, up to 13 larvae come out of the bee. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Now, while the zombie fly does parasitize other bugs, bees, and wasps, it's most detrimental to the honeybee population because it's already dwindling. And I know you're like, what does that have to do with me? Well, I'll tell you, it has everything to do with you because honeybees are responsible for so much of the pollination of our crops. So think about it. No honeybees, no pollination. No pollination, no crops. No crops, no food. <gasps> Horrifying thought. You know, this has been a really um dark segment. Those four things. I'm gonna go find my happy place now. I'm gonna go eat some lunch while oh, there's still food. Save the bees! A parasite fly called Apocef. Ah, yeah. Apostolic, no, that's not right. The Apostolic Jefferson. Now, once the eggs have hatched inside of the creature, uh, Apocephalus Borealis, Apocephalus Borealis, Apocephalus Borealis. All right. Mm. No food. Oh, no food. Uh, okay.